welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do the Group 3's crochet stitch pattern. For this pattern, you'll need to know how to do a double crochet and a half treble crochet. If you need help with that, you can check down in the description below for my videos on how to do those stitches. So to get started, you want to chain multiples of 6 plus 3. For this video, I'm just going to do a quick 9 chains. Once you have all of your chains, you want to start off by chaining one, and in the second chain from the hook, you're going to work a double crochet, followed by double crocheting all the way till the end of the row. And that finishes row one. So row two, we are going to turn our work, we are going to chain two, and we are going to work a half treble crochet in the next stitch, followed by half treble crocheting all the way till the end of the row. And row two is the beginning of your repeat, so when you're doing this project you will want to repeat rows two through five to get your desired size for this project. There you are, row two. So row three is where all the magic happens. So we'll start off by chaining one and working three double crochets across. Next, we will do a double crochet below. So locate where the lineup is for that one. And then we're going to work a stitch below, which is a yarn over one, pull through two, making sure that you don't pull your yarn too tight. So the next stitch is going to be a little bit harder because instead of doing a row below, we're doing a row below below into the double crochet row from row one. Again, it's a yarn over, pull through, pull through, just like you would for a double crochet. Next, we're just going to do one stitch below, locate where that's at pull through, pull through. And you'll see how it ended creating a level of design. Then we'll finish off by working three double crochets into the last stitches. There you go. Now I can show you. You see how you have a, the middle one is much longer and that's what gives this the effect of the grouping of three. So for row four, you're just going to chain two and you're going to work half double crochets all the way to the end of the row. Now when it comes to working the rows, row three of working the stitches below, you want to make sure that you don't pull your yarn too tight or else it will deform your project. And also you want to just take your time and make sure you check where you want your project to line up. Also, you will not work the stitches above for the stitches below or else you'll end up with too many stitches. So row five, you just chain one and you double crochet all the way to the end of the row. Again, the repeat for this pattern is row two through five. And once you get the hang of this, it's actually really fun and super exciting with how it ends up turning out. So you'll see from this how everything ends up lining up almost perfectly. And this is how you do the Group 3's crochet stitch pattern. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like. And I really do hope that you have a happy crocheted day.